Hi, this is Rusty Bromley, Chief Operating Officer of the Myelin Repair Foundation. And today I want to talk about some of the MRS research activities to improve diagnosis and accelerate clinical trials in multiple sclerosis. As I talked in a previous segment, it's very difficult today to diagnose MS. In fact, many people who contact us who are newly diagnosed tell us that they had symptoms seven to 10 years before they got a final diagnosis. We're looking for ways to actively determine whether or not myelin has been damaged by MS and whether it can be repaired and do so non-invasively. You're probably all familiar with diagnostic techniques and imaging techniques such as CAT scans and MRI for soft tissue imaging. But there's a third newer technique that's been developed called positron emission tomography, or PET for short. In the PET process, there's a chemical tag which is injected into the bloodstream and will attach itself specifically to certain molecules. In our research, we're trying to find a new chemical tag that will specifically attach itself to myelin basic protein, one of the most common components of the myelin sheath. In doing so, we will be able to determine whether the myelin is present or absent in certain areas of the brain and spinal cord. Obviously, if there's a gap in the myelin, it's a much better way to diagnose MS. And more importantly, if we can see the myelin reappear in those areas once new therapies are applied, it gives us a very strong indication that the therapy is being effective. Using new techniques like PET could dramatically increase the speed of clinical trials by reducing the number of patients and making the outcome measures significantly faster than they are today. I thought you'd be interested in knowing what the MRF is doing in this area, both to improve diagnostics and to speed up clinical trials. And in the next segment, we'll talk about another exciting area of research, which is molecular biomarkers. Thanks for joining me, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let us know.